Hey, welcome back everyone to Simpit Academy. So today we are going to looking at the sensor panel. The good thing is this panel at the moment um, for DCS BIOS, everything is working. So that's cool. So the dimensions are here again. As per my very first video, which I showed the dimensions for all the types of switches and recesses. So you have big toggles, a rotary switch, another one here, another one here, a dual encoder, another big toggle, and a button here. Right, so a couple of toggles, rotary switches. And they are 30 degrees rotation once again. So you'll see that I have to rearrange the uh, angle of the text. The dual encoder button. And we have to create a couple of knobs this time. We already created this lower volume knob in the previous video. So this time we're going to create this top volume knob as well as three more special knobs okay in the order of difficulty this is the easiest just know how to draw this shape and pad it up and then this as well and then this one needs some special trick uh, called the datum plane which I'll demonstrate so all these toggles and rotary will require bottom recesses and some of them locking holes and the size of the locking holes and distance from the center are pretty standard for toggle and the rotary switch so this one we basically need to draw two circles this one the inner one here and then an arc that is 13 mm wide okay and then trim that's all then the rest is filling the top the side and drawing the arrow as usual when, whenever we draw an arrow we have to raise it up by 1 mm then we reverse pad it down and we'll get this and then the bottom is always a hole okay about 15 mm deep the second one is um, using two boxes here and then have an arc on the two rims and then join and pad okay and the rest is standard and the third one is trickier two boxes align then we trim the sides and we join to form a shape like this okay so very much like the first two knobs however after padding this we want to create this datum plane at first you'll be like you'll be flat on top then we rotate it and then we move it out okay from the center we move it out to the side we draw a certain shape okay we move it back and then we park it symmetric to the plane basically two sides okay then you will cut out you will cut out the this curved part here okay you come like this right then we use the datum plane again move it out again so that we can see it in, if it's hidden in the body we can't see it move it out again draw another shape like this and then we move it back and this time instead of doing a pocket we do a pad both ways symmetric okay then we get the arrow or rather just a line um, it's hard to draw the arrow then have a hole 
All right. So let's um, take a look at how to do all this. Okay, let's build the first knob. New body sketch XY plane. And twenty five diameter circle. Head to fill point seven five. Okay, close head to fill the top. 0.75 then select another surface this time eighteen And rectangle of thirteen so this will be thirteen wanna center this right we don't care how much they cut in so Now we trim. Oh wait, um, we should draw an arc of 12.5. So from here to the center, touch here and touch here. All right, now we trim. Get rid of this one. And then we want to trim here. All right, so we get this shape like this. Then we add 15.5. So close, add 15.5. All right. So I'm not going to do the rest, you know the drill. Fillet the top. Just look at the pause and look at the slides. Fillet the top, fillet this edge, uh, a bigger fillet 9mm. Fillet the corners, the sharp corners. Draw the arrow, bring it up, reverse pad down. 17. Okay, then go to the bottom. Make the hole in your dot. So let's look at second now. New body sketch XY plane. Close pet to fillet. Point seven five. Oops. Fourteen and five. Okay. Fourteen. Five center them okay. <clears throat> you want to make an arc and then bring this down. Okay, that's arc will still be 12.5, right? Okay, from here, 
center, touch, touch. Okay, so trim this away, trim this away. Wait, let's bring this down. Oops, let's take this. Send it again. So you want to be sure you want you want to do this check again. Make sure twelve point five, twelve point five, and this part here you want it to be thirteen. So okay, it's gonna move. Don't you will move it sideways. So don't touch that, and then we just, this should be 14. Okay. Then we just join with lines. Okay. Delete this. Right. We'll get rid of this one too. All right. Then pad fourteen, and then fill it the top, fill it the sides, at the bottom. Create a hole. Create an arrow at the top. Okay, so that's all for this now. Next one. I think it's always 25. Oh, this is a bit bigger, 26, okay. So thicker to three and a half. Fillet one. Seven nine fourteen. And align, right? This will be fourteen. Center it. This will be seven. We center it, and this one too. Oh, we haven't stated the dimensions. This will be nine. Okay, they're all centered. Then, as usual, draw arcs. So, here, touch, touch, from center, touch, touch, and then trim. And we don't need all this too. Right, then we just join the lines. Okay. 
to be safe, you want to do this and say they are uh, 13, yeah, because it's 26 diameter, All right? So you want to move, remove the middle line as well. So it should look like this. Then add 13.5. Okay, so not doing all the fillet stuff yet. Now, dead and plate. So, what is dead and plate? So, you select the top here and click this guy. Alright, so it's like this at the top. So, we want to come down to the y axis, do 90 degrees. It will flip it along this line here. Right, see. Then we move it out, okay, and draw something like this. So you want to move this out eight, okay, or ten or whatever. As long as you move it out, it, that it's not covered by the body, then you select it and create a sketch okay and something like this okay so say the starting starting point is somewhere here so starting point let's say it's somewhere here and you want to Draw something like this. Okay. And then just the the size of all these doesn't matter. You just want to cut this out. Alright, so as long as something like this, you're fine. You can even go here to cut it out more. Alright, so then we move it back. We move the datum plane back to the middle and the sketch will follow. Alright, so select it. Move this back to zero. Okay, so see, the sketch follows. Then select the sketch and park it out as much as possible symmetric okay see it goes both ways then you just keep going until all is done all right Now you can hide it and you can you can see it. Okay, this is how you do it. So now we want to create a second data plane. Same drill <clears throat> 90. And then move it out. And create a sketch on it this time around we want to do this okay one line one arc just slightly inside to touch the body cannot be floating in space and then after that another one here which will determine the height of the the line the thickness And this is how we do it. We create two arcs. One slightly inside. Another one outside. Then this one we can 
<coughs> bring it in so that this at least is inside this horizontal line and we join them all right then once again move it back and the line follows and then this time instead of pocketing we pad okay that's not a good sign oh it works symmetric do two on both sides so it's thick enough all right and then fillet the the top the sides put a hole and we're done we have the third knob okay something like this okay now we do that top volume knob new body sketch xy plane and this is similar to the previous one we created where we need the uh, polar array thing so uh, we don't do We use part workbench instead. Okay, let's do a cone. By default, the top is bigger, so we just do seven point five, six point two five. So seven point five, six point two five, six point seven five. Height of eleven point five. All right, we have the cone. Then create a cylinder. Tiny one point five by fifteen. So a cylinder. Can't see it yet. Point five by fifteen. Okay, now it comes out. Then we move it out and add a twist all right pun intended to rotate it slightly so we move this guy out 7.5 to the edge see but it's straight and we have a curved inward body so the y axis minus so it minus four right so it's basically roughly in the middle okay so yes. then go to draft workbench this thing again choose polar array and choose 15 okay Oh, I try not to cross then the uh, values x y z so 15 okay now we are good then we go back to our bench all right so now this um, combination thing that we looked at again so select the code first main body and then what you want to cut from the array okay and then this inner section voila you get this okay the rest is easy create when it's part workbench you want to create a sketch um 
you need to do this, okay, and it says create a cross reference. All right, then just create a 14 diameter up. Okay, head one. All right, and then the rest is easy. You know how to create the arrow, raise it up, reverse pad down. Okay, 12.5. See, reverse pad, else it goes up this way. Then create a hole, draw a line. Uh, I've shown this in previous videos before and trim this part here and then park it 9.5 okay and we have the now all right for Arduino dual encoders both sides top and bottom push buttons toggles so all this we have seen how to wired all these types of switches before okay a common ground and then DCS BIOS notice that the rotary switches have a wide angle to the text to each stop all right so it's like a 45 or 60 degrees um, angle so mine is as usual the dual the nerd um rotary switch which has only 30 degrees rotation so i will rearrange this all right you have to be if you are using the same kind of switch as me you want to be flexible in terms of changing rearranging the text it doesn't have to look exactly right so As usual, for the default code, it might be potentiometer. Uh, if you see any, the, the dual, where is it? This dual shaft, okay? So if it's by default uh, potentiometer, you want to just go into the advanced type. So, see, the advanced from part to rotary encoder and then this is the finished product okay the three special big knobs and then this top um, encoder knob that we created so notice that i have rearranged the um, the text it's much tighter all right but it still works okay now we shall see the demo of all the switches in the panel 